Start the day with a song and sing the whole day through. Even while you're busy working, do just like the birdies do. Though the day may be long, you never will go wrong. Or keep on, keep any old key, just start the day with a song. Switzerland, a quaint and charming country, is the mecca of the mountaineer and the paradise of the winter sportsman. Tourists from all over the world pour in to enjoy its many beauties. Switzerland is noted for its towering Alps, the most famous of which is the Matterhorn. These mountains are so high that they reach way above the clouds with their snow-capped peaks. Towns are productive as well as pretty. Zurich is one of the largest silk manufacturing centers on the continent. Millions of silkworms are employed in producing this fabric. Another important industry is the making of lace. This intricate work requires great patience and skill. Swiss watches are used the world over. Only the finest of craftsmen can assemble these delicate timepieces. Here is a close view of the popular Swiss movement. Cheese making is another major industry and is practiced in every hamlet and farm in Switzerland. In the quaint little town of Altdorf, we find a statue of that great legendary hero, William Tell, who shot an apple off his young son's head. One of the most fascinating sights in this unusual country is the sure-footed mountain goat. Communication in these hills is accomplished with the alpenhorn, the sound of which carries for miles. Here we see one mountain guide sending a message to another. Now the other guide answers on his horn. What a horn! Next we come to San Moritz winter playground of the world. All winter sports are popular here, especially ice skating. Everyone ice skates. Skiing is another popular pastime. Ski enthusiasts travel to high mountain slides in special conveyances known as ski trains. Mountain climbing is exciting but dangerous. However, the Swiss have overcome many of the hazards in this sport. But, of course, there are still some alpine climbers who prefer the old method. Mountains in the mountains, 